In today's video, I'm going to show you my LinkedIn content calendar, which will be a template that you can just download in the description box. This is really helpful to me to create more content on LinkedIn, to be more consistent and to also look at content I've already created and to spot opportunities and how I can repurpose that content. So I'm going to be using Notion, but you can use any productivity tool. You might think that this kind of board view does actually look like Trello, so you could use Trello for this as well. And I'll also show you how this kind of schedule can double up as that content calendar. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be discussing how I turn ideas into content for LinkedIn. So what we can see here is that we have um, different boards. We have a board for ideas, which are currently just no statuses. We have drafts where when an idea is turned into a first draft, you simply drag and drop the idea into the draft. We then have a review section. So whether you're reviewing content with a fresh pair of eyes, perhaps the next day, or if you're in the team and you want to assign the content to different people, we'll be discussing that today. We then have our ready to post section, which you, you ideally want to have, you know, two weeks of content prepared for in advance for your LinkedIn content. And then we have that posted section, which is really important to look at content you've already created and you can actually jump in and see how that content can be repurposed in the future. So obviously you guys are here for the LinkedIn content calendar. So all we have to do is go into our board view and I've created this into a content calendar as well. So where essentially, like I'll show you later on, when you assign a date to your content, you can see it in this content map, which is useful if you're part of a team, so you can kind of visualize the strategy and the content you've got going out. But also if you're just an individual content creator on LinkedIn, you can see how far in advance that you plan your content. Like I said, I typically try and get two weeks of content planned in advance. If you find that you don't have enough ideas for content, I'm gonna quickly show you how I curate content. So what I like to do is I like to go into Medium, and I like to find articles which are related to sort of topics that I like to create content about. So for me, this is productivity, it's business, it's entrepreneurship. So the reason I like to use Notion is all I have to do is use the Notion Web Clipper, which is a Google Chrome extension, or if you don't like Notion, you want to use Trello, you want to use this kind of this process and use another tool, you can use Pocket, which is a very similar Google Chrome extension, which does exactly the same job. So what we do is we go into an article and we just simply add the article to our board. So we just add it to our LinkedIn content calendar. And as you can see here, the content is just then going to appear in the content calendar. All we have to do then is we jump into the article. I did actually add this icon that doesn't come up. But as you can see here, the link of the article pulls through, which is really handy if you are working in the team. And also just for your kind of future reference, if you lose track of an idea, you lose track of an article, you forget, you forget where you found the article. All the media and the text pulls through into Notion. For me, this just saves so much time because instantly you can have an asset which you can use. And also all of this is just copy and pasteable text. So you can have, for example, several ideas could be sparked from an article. And it's just great to have that in Notion natively. Okay, so this process is actually called the Kanban method, which I didn't know it actually had a name. But this is essentially dividing up the different stages of content into different processes. So typically we have the capturing an idea. So when you need to create content, you obviously first need an idea. So I've got some just ideas which I had throughout the week, and this is what I would do. So I just jump into Notion and I drop the ideas into my board. So this sort of process of creating content and dividing the process down into different stages was inspired by the entrepreneur, Kevin Kelly. I'm gonna read out the quote, which just really inspired me to kind of break up this process into the different stages of it. Sometimes you can be writing content, sometimes you can be editing content. So Kevin Kelly said, separate the processes of creation from improving you can't write and edit or sculpt and polish or make and analyze at the same time if you do the editor stops the creator while you invent don't select while you sketch don't inspect while you write the first draft don't reflect at the start the creator mind must be unleashed from judgment and i love this so when you have an idea which could be content simply add it to your notion calendar under no status or that could just be your idea column and for example, this was an article that I read. It came across from okdalk.com, which was Noah Kagan's eight figure business. And it literally just said, scaling your business is enabled through two options. One, to hire more people and two, to automate things with software. So following the advice of not editing your first thoughts, you want to take the idea and move it to your first draft column. Here, you literally just want to have a brain dump. So you want to take the idea, you want to just think about how this could be content, think of different topics, think of different ways and different angles for your audience. You just want to write in this first draft section, you just want to write down as much as you can. Then the review section might be for you to look at it with fresh eyes, perhaps the next day. So perhaps you want to turn, you know, five ideas into five first drafts to really be efficient with the process, which is what I'd recommend to batch the different processes of this system that you've got on. Then in the review section, you want to kind of turn this into a full draft of a post. This is when you're actually taking the first draft of the content and you're thinking about grammar, thinking about punctuation, and then I would move it into ready to post. So just to give you guys an idea of content that I would say is ready to post, this is when you're optimizing it for LinkedIn. So you're using emojis, you're thinking about your audience, and you're thinking about the main message that you're trying to convey. So just an example here, this is just the style I like to use for text content. 
So I've kind of got the emojis, I've got the capital letters. I've thought about breaking up kind of bullet points of the content to increase readability. And also I've got the hashtags. So I like to do the optimization process before I move things to ready to post. But what you could do instead, you could always add a group called optimization. Which, for example, if you're working as a part of a team, you might have the person who finds the ideas, you might have the person who writes the ideas, and you might have the person who jumps in, optimizes things for LinkedIn. So you could also add that extra section there. And when that content is ready to go, you would just assign a date, which is going to add it to your LinkedIn content calendar. So let's say it's going out for tomorrow, and uh, let's just, yeah, let's leave that time there. And all you would do, you would then toggle the views on Notion. You'd move to your content calendar and you'll see that the post appears there. And like I said, I like to have two weeks of content prepared in advance to really take the stress out of content creation, to know you've got content going out already. You can look at the content mix of what sorts of different content you're doing. Is it a video? Is it an image? So for example, you could jump into the post and you could also add a property, for example, which is a label saying that it's a video. And when your content's had a date assigned to it, simply just move it to your posted section. Now, I do really do think it's important to have a posted section. Of course, you could go onto LinkedIn, you could just scroll through your feed. But if you're creating lots of content, for example, daily content on LinkedIn, it's gonna be a lot of scrolling to get through to posts, which were, for example, two months ago. And so it would just be a lot easier to do. And having this list will mean that you can repurpose content. So for example, you might go onto the content calendar view you might want to check that there are posts that you created, for example, in May 2020 or April. And if you've got content here, which your audience hasn't seen for two months, for example, you should be jumping in. You can turn that content into new content. You might find a new angle for it, or you could just repurpose the content. Because remember, if you're growing an audience, your new followers wouldn't have seen this content. And also as well, your audience won't see every post that you put out. So it's really important to just try and post as much content as you can. I talk about this more in my video, how to get more views on LinkedIn in 2020, where I talk about reaching higher volumes of content is typically bringing in for me about 50,000 views on my content every single month. And I promise you that's something you guys can achieve. So do check out that video as well. So really hope this video is useful for you guys to put up your own LinkedIn content calendar. I'll show you now my own content calendar just to prove that this is the system I use. And you can see that, you know, when we're signing dates to our content, we view it in a content calendar view. We can really visualize how much content we're getting out and it can actually inspire us to post more content on LinkedIn. No wonder why I showed you a blank template. This is the exact system that I use. So I've got um, about 19 posts ready to go. Some of those are just video content. So for example, I take my YouTube videos, I break them up into about five to 10 short video clips. So we get really good at taking pillar content and repurposing it. You can get really efficient with stuff. And here's the posted column as well. Uh, so this is content which I posted months back and it's so much easier to see it here in this schedule. I can just jump into this, this into this content. I can, you know, copy the, the text really easily. That's quite an emoji heavy one. Um, yes, yeah, so that was posted January 17. So you could potentially duplicate the card and you could just move it over to your idea section to make a new post from that. And also as well, I can just simply jump into the content calendar view, which is a lot nicer view to look at and we can see how much content we've got going out. So like I said, I try and have two weeks of content pre-planned. So for example, here, you can just drag that content to there. So I can be pretty confident that I've got content going out for the next two weeks at least. And then the reason I've got these posts here is because that's kind of like a Friday, who to follow Friday series, which is a good way to have a content series where you've got consistent content going out. So I really hope the video has been useful for you guys. I really look forward to seeing your own content calendars and do jump into the description box to grab your copy of that. Do also check out the other videos on my YouTube channel and really how to maximize the reach of your content to pull in business, clients, and opportunities on LinkedIn. And if you have any ideas for future videos, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.